We think, we think that as seen from Hanoi, there is a deep inconsistency in United States policy between a peaceful posture looking toward a negotiated settlement and an interventionist posture which has in view the permanent partition of Vietnam and an expanded war. This two-sidedness makes United States policy seem hypocritical and suspect to the Vietnamese, who hear overtures of peace, but also pledges to stay in Vietnam, who know of the pause in bombing, but also observe a daily military buildup in the South. For those to whom we talked in Vietnam, the record of events in recent weeks proves clearly the continuing inconsistency of American policy. American ambassadors have gone all over the world to knock on any door seeking peace. But Premier Pham Van Dong, in response to our questions, stated unequivocally that the United States government had not made contact with the government of the DRV, either at Hanoi or through DRV ambassadors in other capitals, since President Johnson spoke of knocking on any door December 20th. We assume that the United States, in keeping with previous policy, has not sought to make contact with NLF representatives either. To those with whom we spoke in Vietnam, it appears that the United States knocks on all doors except the doors of those whom it is fighting. They wonder if the United States is searching for peace or mainly attempting to soften its image before negative public opinion abroad and at home. 